Hey guys, Apple Kino just finished up about five minutes ago. Now, excuse me, I didn't have time to memorize all that stuff. Uh, so I do have a little cheat sheet running over here. Excuse me for that again. Uh, you can actually take a look at that if you want, but I will have images right up here. You can uh, take a look at that. It will be easier for you. Uh, first, let's start with the most exciting thing of them all, the iPhone 5. And yes, it is called the iPhone 5 now. It is 1.6 millimeters Thin. Uh, not 1.6 millimeters fake, but 1.6 millimeters thin. It has reclaimed its uh, status of the thinnest smartphone on the market today. It is 18 um, uh, percent thinner than its predecessor, of course, the 4S. Now, moving up is uh, the weight of it. It is now also the lightest smartphone on the market coming up at 112 uh, grams, that is 20% lighter than its predecessor. Uh, the screen is 4 inches and I'm just gonna uh, save you time uh, going, <gasps> oh my god, I cannot believe this because um, all of the rumors that we heard about it are true. Uh, unfortunately, because it's not as exciting, but everything that we heard, uh, the new dock connector, the new screen, it's all true. Uh, so the screen is 4 inches, it allows for five uh, rows of applications, of course the sixth row, uh, which is the dock. Uh, and because of that, as you can see from just the pictures that I'm showing you up here, you get a lot of uh, more screen real estate uh, for apps. Uh, the screen uh, is now 16 by 9 ratio, so watching widescreen movies, you will not have those black bars. Uh, it will now take the entire screen, uh, very pleasant for watching uh, widescreen videos. Uh, the colors have 44% uh, more saturation and again all of the photos are, are up there. Um, now integrated touch, what that means is uh, that usually, well always, the uh, smartphone uh, screens they have a layer of um, display and then a layer of touch sensor. Apple has integrated it all into one thin layer that allows them uh, to make the screen a lot more uh, brighter and that's where the contrast comes from also of course the phone is thinner because of that uh, ultra fast wireless uh, Apple finally brought LTE to the iPhone uh, that will allow it for a lot a lot faster speeds and it's not also uh, not only uh, to your 3G 4G uh, internet but also to your Wi-Fi uh, it will run a lot faster you can just see the picture comparing it uh, here in Canada for me the carriers will be Bell, Talis, Rogers, um, Kuro and a few others others actually uh, a6 Apple a6 chip which is uh, of course the processor graphics uh, now it's uh, two times I believe they said faster but of course just uh, allows for faster performance yeah and it is two times faster CPU as well as two times faster graphics uh, and here you just uh, can see the speeds compared to the 4s chip uh, and this Apple A6 uh, so you can just see the speeds comparing and they uh, are a lot, uh, around uh, two times faster uh, now the battery life uh, the battery on these uh, on this new iPhone is a lot taller a lot bigger uh, but unfortunately because of all this performance they have not been able to increase the battery life even with the battery uh, bigger batter battery uh, but the battery life uh, d uh, does stay the same so uh, 3 uh, three G talk time 8 hours 3G browsing 8 hours LTE browsing 8 hours Wi-Fi browsing 10 hours music 10 hours um, or video actually 10 hours music 40 hours and standby is 224 hours uh, now the camera on this new iPhone is 8 megapixel sensor again uh, the resolution of 3264 by 2448 uh, backside illuminated which uh, allows for a great absolutely great uh, low light performance hybrid IR filter uh, five element lens and uh, an aperture of f 2.4 
and uh, somewhere around here I should be showing you just the pictures taken from the uh, iPhone 5 and uh, it has the next generation uh, ISP and what this is is how the processor uh, uh, works with camera to create better pictures uh, and uh, the way it does it is uh, it, it gives you a spiral noise reduction, uh, smart filter, um, better low light performance which is a huge thing in this new camera uh, together with this processor and uh, faster photo capture so you uh, it's almost well they didn't actually specify this but it will be just zero latency from the moment you push the photo button till, until the moment it takes the photo because as we know 4S is almost there so this 5 should be uh, just right there with zero latency and again this is just a photo uh, now they bring panorama uh, to the iPhone 5 which they said they made really a big deal of it when it really isn't that big of a deal and uh, you can view the video of course on Apple's website probably by the time you watch this video you can just head out to the Apple's website where they will uh, have this video uh, the camera is of course 1080p HD uh, but what has been improved is the video stabilization now has face detection did the 4S had, had that? Uh, well now it definitely has uh, and you can take a photo while recording video so all of these features of course uh, I don't think I'm done yet uh, but uh, everything that I'm saying right now it doesn't mean that the iPhone 5 is necessarily a huge improvement over uh, some other phones uh, like Galaxy S3 uh, but it definitely now will be able to keep up with them and maybe even better in some areas uh, it has three microphones uh, uh, one on the bottom of course uh, one at the front top and on the back for shooting video uh, improved speaker design so now it is noise cancelling uh, uh, when you put it up to your ear uh, it will cancel out a lot of the background noises uh, and it is 20% smaller so of course all of the little things that Apple combined together inside of the new iPhone 5 uh, that they made smaller like the dock connector and even this new smaller speaker all of that comes together to allow them for more space for stuff like battery again noise cancelling earpiece uh, now the dock connector as I said earlier has changed and now call is called the lightning uh, it has I believe three or not three by uh, but eight little strips rather than uh, 30 of course uh, you can plug it in no matter which side so uh, you will never mess up it's, it makes for smoother and easier uh, installation to your phone uh, and it is smaller looks uh, better I believe and they also had changed this on the new iPod touch and the iPod nano we will get into that a bit later on again just the pictures of this new adapter um, uh, more uh, what else can I say improved durability so now it goes deeper I guess into your phone so it will um, stay stay there uh, so uh, there way there will be less chance of it falling off it is 80% smaller and they do have an adapter for it so uh, they didn't actually specify it uh, as of right now what's the price of it it's probably gonna be uh, 10 to I don't think it's $30 but somewhere around $15-$20 uh, I'm guessing that's how much the adapter will be again so uh, you will probably know how much the adapter costs by now uh, so you can use your all of your peripherals uh, with uh, the new iPhone uh, if you have a dock uh, for the for it uh, you can just buy that adapter and uh, it will work just fine uh, this is just a picture of all the new and updated apps uh, that they uh, created and updated for this new iPhone 5. Uh, this is just a picture of the inside look. Uh, so it looks very neat even the, on the inside and as you can see the battery takes out a lot of the space. Uh, so again you can believe when they say that even with all of this uh, new performance the battery lives uh, stay relatively the same 
Um, now the price, uh, as far as the price go, uh, it's uh, the same basically 16 gig uh, gigabytes for uh, $200, 32 gigabytes for $300 and 64 gigabytes for $400 uh, and that is over the two year contract. Uh, the iPhone 4 is now free on the contract uh, for as $99 and uh, I just mentioned the iPhone 5. Uh, the uh, countries in which it will be uh, sh uh, uh, shipping and be in stores on September 21st uh, will be United States, Canada, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Australia, Japan, Hong Kong, and uh, Singapore. You can expect it right there. It will be available for uh, free order on, on, I believe, the September uh, the 14th. Uh, that will be the Friday. Uh, iOS 6 is coming up uh, also I believe on Friday and that will be supported by the iPhone 4s, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, new iPad, iPad 2 and iPod Touch 4th generation. Uh, and uh, actually the, uh, the iOS 6 uh, it comes out on September the 19th. Uh, so that's not going to be the Friday, uh, but the they did uh, update iTunes uh, for their mobile version for iOS as well as the desktop version, and I think it looks uh, very clean, very neat, and uh, I don't like this uh, new look to it. Uh, so the iTunes and uh, I guess just your Apple account uh, apps will be available on September the nineteenth. That will be iTunes App Store and uh, iBooks or whatever they're calling it and just some pictures of the iTunes now let's get to the iPod touch now the iPod touch is a huge wow uh, at this keynote it's been totally redesigned looks nothing like its predecessor and we'll go over it right now now as you can see this is a view from the back it has a flash now uh, it's coming uh, going back to its roots with the let little uh, black plastic thingy uh, uh, to allow for the signals like uh, Wi-Fi of course staying with the retina display, but it is now four inches just like the iPhone 5 uh, Great gaming experience as Apple says uh, now this little button is actually at the bottom uh, back of the new iPod touch now what it is is actually not a button everyone was kind of surprised and was like oh what's this gonna do uh, but actually it's not a button it's um uh, Apple is marketing their iPod touch to be the point and shoot camera competitor uh, so they just have a wrist band uh, or a, a strap that will attach to this iPod touch uh, to that little thingy over there uh, now they didn't specify if it's gonna ship in the box with the iPod touch or will you need to buy it separately but you can always do that uh, it will allow for airplane uh, mirroring so you can play now games uh, and use your uh, iPod touch as a controller and then video will be going out to your uh, HDTV that will, of course will be hooked up to your Apple TV uh, now uh, iPod touches do come in now five colors that is white, um, black, blue, uh, green ish, yellow and red. Uh, so of course now all of the iPod, uh, iPod line will be available in different colors. Now from what I got from the event they didn't actually talk about uh, iPod classics so they actually just showed the three iPods. They updated the touch, nano, uh, shuffled stayed the same uh, and in that picture with all of uh, three of them together there was no classic so uh, it might be actually gone um, I can uh, well you can actually go to Apple's apps and, and make sure of that if you would like that now the price is of course shuffle did not change it's exactly the same $49 no redesign to that nano is a huge improvement uh, looks nothing like its predecessor uh, but still comes at 148 for uh, 16 gigs, so that's uh, even better. And then was iPod Touch. Uh, they will still make the fourth generation iPod Touch in white and black colors for 200 and 250 for 16 and uh, 32 gigs. So there is no 8 gigs, but for the same price of 8 gigs, you can now get 16 uh, gigabytes. 
and uh, the new iPod Touch will be shipping on October uh, and that will have a price of uh, 32 gigabytes $300 and 64 gigabytes $400 so I'm guessing they are trying to replace uh, the iPod Classic with the 64 gigabyte iPod Touch and uh, you can even see that they're fading out the 8 and 16 gigabytes so the 8 gigabytes is completely gone uh, Nano does not have an 8 gigabyte version at least uh, I don't see it right here iPod Touch uh, only comes in 16 and 32 gigs and the new iPod touch uh, comes only in 32 and 64 gigabytes uh, again the same uh, so uh, about this iPod touch it is 6.1 millimeters so that's crazy just razor not even razor it's kind of like paper slashed in half Fan. That's how thin it is. 6.1 millimeters. That's crazy. Uh, and it is, of course, the thinnest iPod Touch they have ever made. It's the thinnest device apart from the uh, front of the MacBook Air that Apple actually makes. Uh, it is lighter than ever, so the same is with the iPhone. It is now 88 grams, uh, so it's thinner and lighter, just like the iPhone, it's thinner and lighter. Uh, it, it still carries that A5 uh, a chip, but it's now called Apple A5X, I believe, uh, to show that it is more powerful. In fact, it is a dual core processor up to two times faster CPU and uh, dual core graphics. So this thing will be able to take some, uh, uh, in well, very good punishment from the apps. Um, and the actually the real uh, racing game uh, just came out along with the iPhone uh, so you will probably be able of course to download it to your iPod and play it and and, and it will probably perform just as good 40 time uh, 40 hours of music of course because although uh, iPod touch is a great camera it is a great uh, game uh, game device but of course its main purpose for the most people is music uh, now the camera because as I said earlier Apple uh, does say that uh, and it will market uh, the iPod touch from now on as a competitor for point-and-shoot cameras uh, and I'm actually talking into one of them uh, but uh, so uh, actually get to the camera it's now a 5 megapixel sensor backside illuminated Hard, uh, hybrid IR filter if you don't know what all of these words mean uh, you can just refer uh, to the iPhone 5 um, I just talked about that uh, camera specs and it will you will see a lot of similar words because they are pretty similar cameras now off to the nano which also got some huge updates first of all it has a lot bigger screen it is 2.5 inch screen um, next is the size which also had changed it is now uh, 5.4 <laughs> millimeters thin uh, it is bigger now it is it doesn't have that clip uh, it's not it's not anymore advertised as something you can clip to a closing uh, now Apple advertises shuffled as uh, that thing to exercise with um, and nano is going back to its roots into a bigger player um, music player that uh, will be used to watch videos, uh, play music, not to exercise with. Uh, so again, uh, the thin thickness of it is 5.4 millimeters. Um, it is 38 uh, percent thinner than uh, the previous shuffled. Uh, on these sides, as you can see, it just have uh, uh, a, um, a volume up, volume down, as well as in the middle, play, pause, and forward, backward button. Um, it is multi-touched of course now it has a uh, home button which is a, a nice uh, addition to it it also comes in uh, multiple colors just from the front and the back uh, you can watch widescreen videos on it thanks to its uh, display it might be 16.9 we don't know about that but it looks like it uh, it has Bluetooth, so you can now pair it up with uh, a pair of uh, Bluetooth headphones, for example, or have it in your car. Uh, and basically, I, I just ran out of uh, pictures, meaning that that is it for Nano. But we do have one more thing. 
thing. Uh, no, <laughs> Apple didn't actually send that they have one more thing. Unfortunately, they're trying to get that off um, and let that go, off, uh, let that go uh, I guess, with Steve Jobs, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have new earphones, um, as you can see right there, popped up up there. I'll just open it. Um, uh, uh, excuse me for that, uh, sorry, <laughs> but uh, uh, a pair of new headphones and actually they leaked as well. So uh, it leads us to believe that a box uh, or at least one box of iPhone did escape someone and got into someone's hands because everything of two headphones uh, was leaked. Uh, now, the uh, headphones are actually called EarPods, uh, of course, by Apple. This is Apple, it needs to be called EarPods. Uh, I'm not making fun of that necessarily, but uh, they will come with new Nano, new iP uh, iPod Touch, and new iPhone, not with Shuffle or the old iPod Touch that Apple still makes. Um, now, that's just a uh, remote, con or not remote, but just a control for them. Pretty similar this is how they are in a ear they do look kind of weird uh, uh, and the point that some people made is uh, hopefully they are comfortable because uh, there's no rubber it's all plastic but Apple did say that they scanned over a hundred thousand ears uh, to figure out the best design for their headphones and of course you can buy them separately uh, again this is how they look it looks very excuse me weird um and also future ish um a very little hole right here and also on the side uh a view from the back uh this is just a view of from the all sides and actually if you go to apple's website and i believe under iphone uh, uh then you will see these headphones actually rotating at 360 degrees uh because i am shooting this video kind of in clips so uh i stopped from the last uh, clip and had time to go to apple's website um so this is the box for them uh now we don't know as of yet the price of them uh they will of course uh, put that on their website uh later on you can check that out as well uh, as of right now, we don't know the price, but since they will be shipping with three of their new products, it's likely to be uh, just like the, uh, you know, the earlier uh, um, iPhone headphones. So it's probably going to be $30, not uh, $79 like those in-ear Apple headphones. Uh, and that's basically it. So we are at the end. Uh, congratulations and a huge thank you for those of you who watched me uh, till the end. So this is kind of like an iPhone uh, 5 as well as a uh, WWDC full uh, 20 minutes uh, recap video. Uh, and that's going to be the title of this video. Uh, so um, other than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Oh, and one more thing, just be before we uh, head off out of here, I just want to mention that I will be buying at least one of uh, these new products. Now, I'm probably going to have to wait till Christmas for the iPhone 5, uh, but if you want me to get an iPod Touch or iPod Nano or the headphones even, uh, you can leave that down in the comments below and um, by the most popular request, that's what I'm going to buy. Uh, don't worry about the iPhone, I will uh, get that, but a bit later on. Uh, now, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.